Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video you are going to learn how to use Quarkus command mode. Let's start and follow my steps. I have already created a Quarkus project without any special dependencies, as you can see inside the POM XML. For this video I'm going to use Quarkus version 2.5.3. I've also created an empty Java class called application main. To use Quarkus command mod, you have to add the annotation Quarkus main on the top of the application main class, and this class must implement the Quarkus application. With that, you have to implement the run method. Now, inside the run method, you can put your custom logic. For simplicity, I will print the first input in the console. Let's run the project in development mode, adding the parameter minus the quarkus.args and inside the quote the input to printing console. As you can see, the message input hello in console. As you notice, the server has been stopped. To avoid this behavior, you have to add the statement quarkus.waitforexit before the return. Now you can see in the console the message and still the server is running. To improve the project, you can create a new Java class like application controller in the same package. In the class application main, you have to remove the implements Quarkus application and the method run. Leave the annotation Quarkus main. Inside the class, add the main method with just one statement quarkus.run and then application controller.class and args as second parameter. As you can see, the application controller must implement the Quarkus application and, of course, the run method. Put the Quarkus wait for exit statement and again you can put your custom logic. Let's run it with a different input. Good, it's working also in this way. In the end, I want to show you how you can inject a custom service in command mode. Let's create a new Java class application service in the same package. Let's add the annotation application scope and create a new method like getMessage. Now move inside application controller and add the annotation inject and declare a service as application service. Then, after checking the input, you can just use the method getMessage. Let's try in the console. Yes, it's working. In this video, you have learned how to use Quarkus command mode. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.